Welcome back to the vlog, vlog number 19. You got it. Um, got today it. is uh, day night. Day night. Day night in Toronto. Day night in Toronto. He picked me up and now we're gonna have dinner. We're gonna go shopping a little bit. We're shopping with our eyes. No, we're shopping with our wallet. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. So see you guys in a bit. Bye. Now we just parked our car and we're heading into um, In Center to do some shopping. People stare when I vlog. Why do people Absolutely. stare? Absolutely. <laughs> What do you say? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Toronto style. What? What? Who's that guy over there? Not you. So we just got out of the mall and now we're on our way to get some sukotai. We bought so many things, ma'am. Actually, me too. We got a small today, froyo. <laughs> today I did buy something online. There was a sale. Because I thought since you got EV games. Guys, I bought 2K today. And you know how I've grown so much I've grown up? I don't know so how I, that didn't up. come out properly. <laughs> I've grown up so much that so much I didn't I didn't get 2K at midnight. That's okay. I That's got okay. it the same day still, but not at midnight. I've grown up. So right now we are at a restaurant called Suko Thai. It's Thai food, obviously by the name. And this is my date. Hey Nate. Supper buddy. Supper buddy. Uh, this is all that we're eating today. We're on a diet. We have to have, we're on an all water diet. We are. So I'm already a really messy eater. And I have to have a bit sometimes. But this soup is so intense that I doubled my bib and I'm so glad I did because I'm wearing a blush pink sweater. What do you have to get? What? I have sacrificed my bib for her. I'm wearing white. That's okay, right? Hey guys, so it is Sunday morning. We're still kind of half asleep. Irshad is going to basketball, which means going I'm. To basketball? He's gonna going go. To basketball. <laughs> Irshad's gonna go play basketball, which means I'm gonna go play at Sephora. And it's a beautiful day. Woo! Really sunny. It's uh, it's like 8:55 in the morning on a Sunday. We never pull this stuff. All right. In the car we get. You ready for the day out, babe? Ready for the day out. Look at my hair. I think I need to cut it now. I can't control it. Anymore. Yeah, this is a little crazy. Maybe cut it. Did I lock the door? I don't know what did you do. The key's here. Yeah, I probably did. You want to just double check? I'm like 100% I did. Mine does she forget. I do forget. I'm like 100% that I did. See? I did. I did, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But you still forget. Yeah, I forget. So at Sephora, what am I gonna do today? So I'm gonna exchange a couple things that I bought. Um, but this color, Born This Way, Too Faced, Born This Way, Too Faced Foundation in the color Warm Beige is a little bit too light for me. So I need a shade darker. So I'm gonna do that. Born and to shade. Born to shade. Born, 
god, you're you don't even remember. Me. You Born this your, way. How do you not know your makeup? Oh my god. Oh so my nervous. god, I'm so confused right now. It's too early. <laughs> On a Sunday at least. I'm used to waking up early, but anyway, so I'm gonna exchange the makeup there. And then I am probably gonna go to Forever 21. And then I'm gonna go to Home Sense and uh, look for something there. What are you gonna do, babe? I'm gonna play basketball with my cousins. Uh huh. It's not gonna be super competitive, but it'll be fun. Cool. Hey guys, so I just dropped Irshad off at basketball with his cousins, and now I'm just on my way. I was gonna go to the mall first and go to Sephora, but they don't open until 11. I thought it opened at 10, so I'm gonna do a little switcheroo of plans and I'm gonna go to HomeSense first. Um, I'm gonna be making a vision board next week. I have a lot of time on my hands next week and I will tell you guys why in another clip because I wanna talk a little bit more in depth about it. But anyways, the so next week I have some more time which means I really wanted to make a vision board and um, just like outline my goals for 2018 and the rest of the year. So. Uh, that's what I want to go to HomeSense for and see if I can purchase that and Yeah, so anyway, I am just driving right now and I will catch you guys at HomeSense. All right Time to go into HomeSense It's like oh So many pretty leaves Anyway time to go into HomeSense So I just found this really cool thing. Got it back up and show you guys. Goal digger. Goal digger. Hence why I also want to make a vision board. Goal. So I just found this one that I like because it's pretty wide. But I originally like I wanted something about that size. Um, but I did like this one too. However, it's a little small, but it's still really cute and has a mirror, which kind of matches my um, house decor, but I don't know. Oh, that one's pretty. This one's really big. No, this one's nice too. Oh my God, I can't decide. I just like, if this had mirrors around it, this would be perfect, but let's put it in here for now. So cute. It's like they know that I'm here to make a vision board. So I ended up buying both because I just couldn't decide. One is like a mirror and then the other one is like, I don't know, some sort of frame. But I just couldn't decide so I'm going to go home and decide. Um, i trying to find my keys right now. Right now we're stepping into Michael's in hopes that they may have some more boards and if they do then I'm going to return the one at home sense. I don't think I even told you guys what I'm looking and why I'm looking for it. So I'm looking for a board that I can like tack things onto um, so that I can make a vision board essentially so that every time I look at it I feel like inspired and motivated and I remember my goals because sometimes when we start new opportunities which I'll speak to you guys about later when we start new opportunities and new periods in our life we tend to forget what we are most passionate about we tend to forget what we are most driven to do and so I figured that by making a vision board something that I can see every single day um, I'll be continued to be inspired I'll continue to be motivated and looking at that will help me drive my own personal goals forward um, because I do have a lot of my own personal goals and I don't want it to be too late when those goals go out the window so that is what I'm looking to do so that for the rest of this year and the rest of 2018 I um, I'm like 
ready ready and set to go so that's kind of my plan in terms of making a vision board um and i think it's just a really pretty um addition to add to you know my beauty room as well so that is what i'm doing there the time is now 10 45 the mall opens in 15 minutes so i'm gonna head to the mall we're gonna go to sephora we're gonna go to zara we're gonna go to aritzia and then we're probably gonna have to pick up air shed uh, by that time so anyway i am gonna start driving now and we'll see you guys when we're there getting the Fenty foundation instead of the um, the Too Faced because I didn't have my color but I'm really excited because she just did a little bit I told you just to like cover up just a little bit on my cheeks and my face and I thought she did a pretty good job so I'm really excited to try, to try it out I actually don't love Rihanna don't kill me I know I'm like a Beyonce fan not a Rihanna fan so whatever I'm gonna support her makeup anyway because I like what it stands for so I'll let you guys know how this works out it might be part of my September favorites we'll see We went to this place called Fresh. It was literally fresh. So good. I'm gonna be having a lot of lunches and dinners outside this week, just saying bye to a lot of friends. And now I'm just heading back to work. And yeah, so I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Hey guys, so I just got to the CN Tower area. I'm just waiting to meet up with a couple of friends. Everyone's in blue attire, so I'm assuming that means that the Blue Jays game is happening really soon. Um, so I'm just over here waiting for my friends Amina and Priyam. Priyam is late as usual and she makes fun of me for being early. If you're watching this, I hate you. But anyway, let me show you guys a little bit around Toronto. This is Amina. We went to York together. Yep. We're still friends. Always. It's been like how many Maybe years? Always. Seven. And we still manage to see each other annually because we're cute. Yeah, super cute. <laughs> Shut Shut up, we just blessed. <laughs> Anyways, did you go to this interview? If you had to be honest, yeah. It has like salami on it though. So. Hey guys, so it is Wednesday. Um, I'm just on the streetcar right now and I'm reading The Bingo Theory. Um, I just started it yesterday, unfortunately, because like I haven't had any time at all in the past few weeks, but this week I have some time to live life. So that is what I'm doing, but I'm gonna get off now and I will talk to you guys soon.
hey guys um <laughs> welcome back to my channel it's not gonna be because this is a continuation <clears throat> good morning I just woke up we are at our family cottage let me make sure that everything is good yeah everything looks good so we're just at our family cottage right now and um i think it's like 10 in the morning everyone's just kind of waking up it's a little bit cold so we're wearing sweaters and socks with sandals because i have no shame um but i wanted to talk about like this vlog and kind of what's been happening so essentially i had um quit my job two weeks ago and um okay so i quit my job two weeks ago and i was there for almost about two years um i have been wanting to quit this whole freaking year um i just felt like it wasn't for me anymore um commuting to toronto every day has been really difficult too i mean when we used to live there i think that's a totally different story but um once you essentially like move out of there and you're commuting it's a lot so the commute was a lot um i started not loving um some aspects of the job um or career i guess i should say so that's kind of why i essentially left now um obviously i i did find a better opportunity um which is closer to home so i started there um, I guess not this week, but last week on Monday and, um, it, it's been a really good experience so far. Um, it's like the people are so friendly, so sweet. Um, the commute is not even compared to what it was to go to Toronto and, um, I'm just like in a really, really good place, but I wanted to get on here and tell you guys that those are the changes, um, that you're probably seeing, um, oh, okay, all well, the leaves are moving, um, but these are the changes you guys are probably seeing, me and Arshad are back to commuting together, which is, um, what works really good for us, and I'm just kind of back to this new sort of me old um lifestyle so anyway um that's what's going on with our jobs that's what's going on with our lives and this weekend we are at the cottage so um what should i do i think what we'll do is we'll add the cottage stuff into next week's vlog so make sure you stay tuned to watch next week's vlog if you haven't seen the last vlog make sure you click right here right there yeah we'll make it right there thanks so much for tuning in and i will see you guys soon bye